Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are headlining a pay-per-view PPV event this evening Saturday, August 26, 2017 that is being dubbed The Money Fight. We have delivered Walto all coverage all week. And today tonight was no different. Related highlights Mayweather ends McGregor with late TKO right now we have detailed, round-by-round -round updates of the Mayweather and McGregor main event going on in our live results stream right here. In this post we are going to keep you up to date on the unofficial scorecard of ringside judge to give you a feeling for the main event inside T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. In addition, whenever relevant, we'll provide you with other infighted bits so you know exactly what is happening in real time inside, and outside, the ring. We will refresh this post after every round therefore, reload the page often to get the latest scoop on who is winning the fight between Floyd Mayweather vs. Conor McGregor, who will win the showdown between boxing vs. UFC Let's find out 1141 p.m. E.T. Javonta Davis is announced the winner after an odd knockout of Francisco Fonseca in the eighth round. But, because he failed to make weight he was stripped of his IBF super featherweight title and was prohibited from defending it. 1147 p.m. E.T. The in-ring interviews with Davis and Fonseca are complete, which means it's time to turn the focus on Mayweather and McGregor. Showtime, of course, rolls a preview to keep the broadcast rolling, featuring Mayweather's exploits in the ring and McGregor's inside the octagon, 11.50 p.m. E.T. The cameras go backstage, where Mayweather and McGregor are getting their eight ounces, gloves laced up in preparation for the fight. 11.50 p.m. E.T. Cameras now focused on the ringside announces Mauro Reynolo, Al Bernstein and Pauli Malignaggi, who discuss the winning chances of each fighter. Mayweather's age is a primary topic of conversation, but Malignaggi insists money looked crisp in the gym a few days ago. 1156 p.m. E.T. Commercial break weird for a PPV event, but I suppose the sky-high bills need to be paid. 1159 p.m. E.T. bell rings to get the attention of the crowd, which erupts with shouts and applause. It's time for the singing of the national anthems. Imelda May takes the Irish version and Demi Lovato belts it out for the United States, 12.04 a.m. E.T. Jimmy Lennon Jr. announces that it's finally time for the main event, prompting yet another video promo to pop up on the screen. Shortly thereafter, McGregor begins his walk to the ring, steel face draped in an Irish flag. He throws his arms up before he steps through the ropes to a deafening ovation. 12.07 a.m. E.T. Mayweather makes his walk to the ring in a black ski mask and an all-black robe. The McGregor-friendly crowd showered him with shouts and boos as he quickly entered the ring and began to trot around. 12.09 a.m. E.T. The tail of the tape appears on the screen, once again highlighting Mayweather's advanced age. The ringside announcers then run through the rules before tossing it back to Lennon Jr., who announces the three judges sitting ringside and the referee, Robert Bird, 12.11 a.m. E.T. Lennon announces, it's showtime McGregor is introduced first, described as making his professional boxing debut before running through his mixed martial arts MMA stats. The crowd goes absolutely bananas as McGregor's name rolls off Lennon Jr.'s tongue. He then goes into the gaudy stats of Mayweather, outlining his laundry list of achievements throughout more than two decades of the sport. 12.13 a.m. E.T. Bird brings both fighters to the center of the ring, reminding them that it will be a clean fight and that both fighters must follow the rules. The two touch gloves as Bird shouts, let's do this round one. McGregor stormed out early and immediately tried to pin Mayweather along the ropes, landing shots that were blocked. Mayweather smiled and the pair made their way to the center of the ring. McGregor showboated early, looking down and putting his hands behind his back. Mayweather poured the jab, not really interested in doing anything besides getting a feel for his opponent. He threw just five punches in the round. McGregor landed a nice uppercut as Mayweather charged in, clearly the most effective punch of the round. Round two between rounds Mayweather told his corner, I got him. McGregor, again, came out aggressive and landed a hammer fist that the referee immediately warned him that it was illegal. McGregor landed a nice combination and switch stances, which pleased the pro-Irish crowd. Mayweather, once again, was content to just take his time, while McGregor on more than one occasion slipped to the side and drilled him with short rabbit punches before the referee could separate them. Round three to start the third round, McGregor landed two reflexive hammer fists, which the referee warned him again that they are illegal. 
Later in the round, McGregor landed several solid jabs as Mayweather finally began to hunt for body shots. McGregor landed another hammer fist on the top of Mayweather's head and the ringside announcers anticipate that a point will be deducted if he doesn't stop. Round 4 McGregor came out aggressive once again, landing shots along the ropes, none of which really got through. McGregor landed a nice counter left hand as Mayweather began to pick up his pace, landing a right hand and then going to work on his body again. McGregor is finding real success with his jab as Mayweather finally begins to move forward and attack. Round 5 McGregor could beginning to tire as he was not at aggressive to start the frame. The two got tied up and the frustration on Mayweather's face was clear as McGregor twisted his arms like a pretzel. Mayweather continued to walk forward nevertheless, landing a solid left hook as McGregor finally got a chance to play defense. Mayweather pushed McGregor at the end of the round, perhaps signaling his frustration so far. Round 6 The heat carried over from the previous round, as Mayweather turned his back during an exchange and allowed McGregor to ping him with punches. Mayweather landed two big right hands as McGregor looked to be in a bit of trouble, his hands down and mouth wide open. McGregor weathered the storm and did some light body work, sticking out his tongue and daring Mayweather to keep bringing it. McGregor tried to close the round with a combination, but Mayweather ducked and dodged each one of them. The unofficial ringside scorecard of Steve Farhood has the fight even 5,757 round 7 Mayweather started to opened up as McGregor began to fade. Mayweather landed two clean right hands, and then a left, as the former legend finally seemed to find his stride. McGregor, wisely, tied up Mayweather to slow his attack. The pair once again got tangled up in the clinch and Mayweather's frustration on his face was once again clear as the round came to a close. Round 8 The two came to the center of the ring immediately and Mayweather once again turned his back as McGregor stepped around and landed some shots. Mayweather is now landing more frequently and consistently, going after the Irishman rather than sticking to his typical counter-punching style. McGregor, now backing up, plans some decent counter-strikes as Mayweather responds with a stiff shot of his own. Round 9 McGregor came out with a straight left that had Mayweather crumpled over. McGregor opens up with a combination as Mayweather just went into a defensive shell and let him burn himself out. Mayweather landing clean shots as McGregor stumbles across the ring in a daze, HES exhausted. Mayweather landed a huge left cross, then a right hand as McGregor was on rubber legs. McGregor tried to tie up Mayweather, but he kept charging hard. Mayweather landed two more hard, clean right crosses before the bell finally sounded to save McGregor. Round 10 Mayweather came out with his hands covering his face, baiting McGregor once again to punch himself out early. Mayweather rocked to him in the corner and it signaled the beginning of the end, as Money continued his assault, chasing McGregor around the ring and landing shots at will until the referee mercifully stepped in. McGregor, to his credit, never went down. Meanwhile, it was the first technical knockout for Mayweather since 2011 and, of course, the 50th of his legendary career. The two embraced at the conclusion of the fight, showing their mutual respect for each other. Result Floyd Mayweather defeats Conor McGregor via technical knockout in round 10 for much more on Mayweather vs. McGregor be sure to hit up our comprehensive and impressive collection of event-related stories right here.